here in black YouTube, there is often certain talking points in the positive communities, if you will, of certain people who are talking about what black people can do for themselves. You hear these people all the time coming over here on black YouTube, commenting on black enterprise, commenting on black business, commenting on working together. I know. I mean, I, I engage in this, you know, I try, I try to help. I try to help niggas out. I try to, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard, but I, I try. I try. Nigga. I got coffee. Trying to collaborate with different people to help black men in particular. And uh, hopefully whatever black persons uh, that are engaging in the material, help black people get their shit together. Certain people having conferences, people having conference calls, people having community meetings and all kinds of shit trying to help black people get their shit together. This is what these people are trying to do. Black people need to do this. Black people need to do that. We need more blacks in education. We need more blacks in our own employment. All of these strategies are good. And everybody seems to be so positive about how black people can beat white supremacy because the white man got his foot on your neck, the, how uh, black people can beat uh, institutional uh, racism. All of these different strategies are out there. But all oh, there's one thing you're not accounting for. <laughs> And uh, today, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but <laughs> I got to tell you something. Shout out to the Apollo. $20. Oh, look, it's making a rain up in this thing. Boy, Big Eastwood and Apollo. Y'all niggas got paid today. Appreciate you for the super chats. Can I say something and be real with y'all? Chat room, help me out. Can I be real? Press one. If I can be real, because I, I don't want to be negative, but I got to be real. If I can be real, somebody say I can be real. Let me know. I got to know if I can be real because I don't want to offend nobody. Good. I can be real. A lot of these niggas ain't going to make it. <laughs> oh, a lot of niggas ain't going to make it. Hmm. Is that right? See that? We, we don't want to talk about that, brother. We, we, <laughs> it's like going to church. Oh, man, you know, I went to church. Mount Olive Missionary Institutional uh, Baptist Church, I don't know what mission work we did. <laughs> I know it was a failing institution, but I went there. And oh, the good reverend, he always had a good word for the church. Good word. He's always singing this song. You can't be God-given no matter how you try. The more... I mean, that was back in the day. But anyways... Pastor could keep a good membership because he always preached on good things. What God can do for you. All of that. Oh, holy. The Lord will do this. He will do that. People will just, oh, thank you. All of that. But he forgot to preach about what's going to happen to you niggas and you fuck up. <laughs> see, because see, them kind of sermons. They don't put asses in the seats on Sunday. They don't, you know, when you're talking about, uh, you know, God destroying the world and shit and, and, and fire and brimstone and, and putting plagues on niggas. See, don't nobody want to talk about that. <laughs> we kind of sweep them underneath the rug, you know, because we got to keep people coming up in the church. So we can't, <laughs> we can't tell them that. Mm -hmm. It's similar here on YouTube. YouTube channels talking about what the white man is doing to people. YouTube channels talking about uh, what black people are doing positive. But nobody wants to talk about that. A lot of these people ain't going to fucking make it. And them not making it ain't got nothing to do many times with white people. See, let me go back to this real quick. And I, again, I'm not trying to be negative. I just can only be real. How 
did I know that a lot of folks ain't gonna make it? I'm gonna tell you what happened. 2015, the Sacramento Kings. They came to my neighborhood in Del Paso Heights. And there is a notorious park there called Mama Mark's Park. It would have to be one of the worst historical uh, parks with drugs and vandalism um, in Northern California. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it's the center of you, you don't want to have no barbecue out there. You don't because it's people could just drive by and start shooting. King said, we're going to come in and we're going to give a new park to this community, a new basketball court. So they brought out Rajon, Randall, all the people. The news came out. All that was clapping. <laughs> Kings and brought this new park to the black community. It wasn't 18 months before them niggas tore that part up. Park up. Tore it up. Destroyed it. So much so that all the money the Kings put in, it looks even worse than what it did before. And see, that let me know right then and there. A lot of black folks ain't going to make it. So you asking, <laughs> well, what will happen to them? <laughs> Boy, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> you see, a lot of people, if you want to say that they fall into the hands of white supremacy or they're falling into the hands of, 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 of the devil. You know, you got to account for a lot of these people are going to perish. In our black African-American communities. And see, you can't do nothing about that. Because see, the, the, the thing about it is, a lot of you people who want to help, shout out to Dr. Deacon Dr. Eric P. <laughs> I'm going to read that super chat later. A lot of people that y'all trying to help, these niggas are never going to get it. See, they never going to get it. It doesn't matter what you do for them. It don't matter what you do to them. It don't matter how you help them. They're not going to make it. Uh, let me give you an example. I just seen Ghana Dan coming in here. I'm going to read out Eric Peace chat in a minute. Thank you, brothers. Um, if you look at somebody like Mike Tyson, who made a lot of money, MC Hammer made a lot of money. They put a lot of people on, gave a lot of people money. A lot of black men get on, give their family a lot of money. And even though the family is getting a lot of money and they're getting a lot of shit, they end up not being able to do shit by themselves. Let, let me let me talk to you about that again, because I know that, that went over your head. So let me slow it down. A lot of people, no matter what the fuck you give them. You can give them money. You can give them resources. They're never going to amount to anything. See, that's different than like Indian families. And I was talking to Blackest Night like that. See, the other day. See, when, when Indian families go to someplace like Ghana or Uganda or the United States, see, what they do is, see, they invest money into their family, but the, the, when they get the money now, they say, listen, listen, uh, uh, Habib or Shabab or whatever, you need to go to school and you need to do well if I'm going to give you my money. Because I'm not going to be giving you my money if you're not going to be able to do nothing with it. And I'm going to give you the money, but you better show some repercussions. Or you better show some development on my investment. That means, and you're going to go to school and be an engineer. And you're going to go to school and be a doctor. All you're going to be somebody with this money that I'm giving you. Other than that, you don't get shit from me. And you got to work for it. So then they give them the money. <laughs> they come over here, graduate, right? Then what do they do? <laughs> that person, once they get settled, they send for another family member and do the same thing. And they get another family member and do the same thing. And they all live in one house. And as the generations get, they're getting all more developed, more wealth. See, that's a strategy of people who want to make it. 
But see, here we are dealing with a bunch of people in our community. Uh, a lot of them don't want to make it. Now, we have many people in, in African black America that want to that make it. They want to make it. You got a, lot, a lot of people don't really know how to get to a certain place. Or maybe don't know the encouragement, but we got a lot of brothers that want to make it. But let me tell you that they're going to have to find you. See, you cannot go and find them. But let me <laughs> let me reiterate that real quick for, for you, brother, because I don't want you wasting your time. You know, because see, I, I'm, I'm just really having to come up in this thing. And let you know. You cannot go and find these niggas after you didn't made it because you don't have that kind of time. The only people that you can help are those people who are trying to make it. But see, the thing about black America is we have a lot of people who don't want to make it thinking that you ought to help give them something while they sit there and not do nothing. And then they want to shame you for it. Want to make you feel bad that you're doing what you got to do in your life. You know how hard it is to be somebody in life, nigga? Hello? Come on, I'm talking to somebody, especially if you are a man. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sincere. I'm going to just pre preach to y'all brothers, man. I got to talk to you real quick because I love you. Can't stand you, but I love you. I got to get my I gotta get my coffee on. I done talked to so many black men since I've been on YouTube. The dudes that make the most money that have sent me their tax returns. I won't call no names, but one of them is in the chat right now. These black men have been homeless before. Some people talking about they, le they slept in their cars for a few days, months. Alan Roger Curry talked about being homeless. You know, before they were able to really get to where they're at, they had to go to rock bottom first. Isn't that something? You can't just <laughs> go, no, some like fall flat on your face first, nigga. First. <laughs> okay, fall flat first. Then fight your way back to where you was, and then fight. You understand what I'm talking about? That kind of progression. Then you are expected. To go back and save people who the black America don't never want to talk about that don't generally don't want to make it. But we need to accept the fact and talk about the fact that a lot of black America will perish. A lot of black America is not going to make it. A lot of black America, no matter what you give them, they will not account for anything. And much of that has to do with personal choice. You see, that's the thing that we don't want to talk about in black America. Because I'll give you that the white man has his foot on your neck or the white man has oppressed you. There's systematic oppression and racism. But then I will dare you to move to Nigeria. I dare you to move to any other country. I dare you to move to any other place. And I've, I can, I thank you, Marcus Moore, Dan, the mentor. I can tell you, brothers, I've lived in Poland for three years. I can even tell you that as a black man in America, you got way more opportunity than a white person in Poland. Shout out to Brother Anthony Brown Logan. I'm, I'm about to send you a link. See, that's something that you niggas don't want to talk about. I, I, I know, oh, you can get pulled over by the police and the police bother you. Man, I'm telling you, <laughs> you, although you have it bad historically, Bro, you got way more opportunity than 99% of the other parts of the world. I can tell you that now, even though you think that you are lacking, it don't get much better than that blue passport play. I'm going to just let you know right now, it don't get no better than that. It don't. You, you can talk about France, you talk about, it don't get no better than the blue passport player. I'd have been all around the world. I didn't see people, babies out uh, in the middle of the street begging with flies on them and shit. I didn't see some, some things that make you throw up. 
I just smelled some of the most disgusting things I've ever, I've never smelled this in America. Those of you who've been to Africa, you know what I'm talking about. Some of the things you smell over there, you'll never forget that in your life. It'll make you nauseous just thinking about it. Thinking about how some people live, have to live over there. Oh, you see, there are a lot of things you ain't even seen. Some things you see will make the strongest man cry to see how some people are living. Do you think about it? It ain't that bad. And so with all the opportunities that a lot of blacks have, still a lot of blacks fail themselves. See, this is something that we don't want to talk about. We don't want to talk about this. And this is a tough pill to swallow for a lot of you out there. I don't, I don't care. But a lot of us is not going to make it. And you know what? That's absolutely fine. Stop trying to live in a world where it's, it's, it's going to be a, 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 a black heaven, another black Wall Street, a black paradise. Because, see, the black paradise, <laughs> that's reserved for just a few. That's the VIP section for black people. And whether you want to talk about it or not, there's always been a VIP section for black folks. Whether you want to admit it, it's up to you. But it's always been that way. It's never been no time in America where somebody wasn't going to make it. You're going to have your drug addicts. You're going to have your people that's on drugs, selling drugs, in prostitution, gang members, and people that just have fucked up lives. I'm going to tell you something like this, man. Uh, somebody, well, what, what, about, what, if I, uh, what if I've been uh, abused or molested or raped? I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm not trying to be mean to anybody. You know in America, man, nobody cares about what you've been through. No, nobody, nobody cares. It's bad as that is, but uh, let me save you. <laughs> nobody has any sympathy for you. In America, no, nobody, no, no, nobody puts on your application that uh, what trauma have you been through in your life? You know, I want you to do this job. Shout out to Jay Wizzle. I'm gonna read everybody's super chat at the end. But nobody in America, when you're applying for a job, nobody says, "What have you been through?" But before we hire you, tell me, tell me your sad thing. Some college applications may ask for it, but. You know, before you take a medical college admission test or the SAT test, there's not a section that says, tell me how fucked up your life has been. Tell me. I want to know. Just... And the reason why it's not on there, because don't nobody give a fuck. I'm telling the truth. Nobody cares, man. Tough. Oh, oh, you feel, you know, it's kind of, I was watching, uh, <laughs> uh, Anthony Adams, you know, I, I, you guys play sports and, uh, you guys know those, 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 those drills, you know, we used to call them line drills or basketball. You run to the free throw line, run back, run to half court, run back, run to the other free throw line, run back, run back, baseline, baseline, you know, those, those drills. You know, and then he used to be on the free throw line and some suicide drills. Yeah. So if you miss a free throw, somebody miss a layup. Don't matter why you miss it. You run, you run them suicides. Don't matter. That's how life is. All people care about in life is if you can fucking execute. That's it. At the end of the day, can you execute or not? If you can't execute, you're going to be you're going to perish. And we have a lot of people in black America that are not going to be able to execute. So this is what you do. Don't, don't get mad when you walk by and, you know, let's see Anthony Bryan. <laughs> you see Anthony Bryan Logan out there. Let's just say he was there. Is, are you still here, brother? Brother Logan. Brother Bully. If you see Anthony Bryan Logan with his pants off his ass, this is not likely to happen. But let's just say you saw him. You saw him. You 
out there. He decided to stop being a conservative and he get on, you know, the fat farm jeans. You know, you know what I'm saying? Took the polo back and he wearing a, you know, a big old fake orange chain. Moldy, but it's 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 just big. And he out there, well, the, the, a whole bunch of one dollar bills, counting them on the side of the street. Is it your job to go to ABL and tell him, brother, what's going on, man? We need to get you in the school. <laughs> Come on, ABL, man, what's what's wrong with you, man? Y'all here sagging? <laughs> you eat pork rinds, man? You shooting dice? You got a gold grill? Ain't got the cheap gold grill too, because y'all went to the black malls and let the let the Koreans do it. You know they they ain't put it, they ain't put it in right. You know you 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 got a Jerry curl wig on? Come on, ABL man. Hey, listen, man. We need to take you to uh the Black Empowerment Center, brother. We need to get you enrolled. You know what? We need to get you in these black businesses, man. We need to rehabilitate you, brother, because the white man got his foot on your neck. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't say nothing. Just look at him. And as you walk by, hum a him. Pass me not. Don't say nothing because you know you're not going to make it. Just hum the song as you walk through. Don't say nothing. Don't even waste your time trying to correct this nigga because he's fucked up. And can't nobody help him. He ain't gonna make it. Nigga, he's not. Is that right, Maddie Ghost? He's not going to make it. If you see women in the in the in the in the in the, in the Walmart. Twerking, fighting, they cussing their kids out loud. What you gonna do? Go over and tell them something? Hey, 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 wait, I'm Eastside Gypsy. Hold, hold on, sister. Hold tap, sister. Hold tap. Uh, thank you, Bill Carr Magazine. To wake the hell up. I'm gonna read you super chats at the end. But, sister, um, you need to. Stop acting like this, sister. Hold tap. You know, you're going to come over there with your black power consciousness shit on. Hold on a second. Stop the show. Get the likes up, y'all. 22 minutes. I ain't going to be on here too long, man. But y'all need to get the likes up for a player. Because Jesus paid it on the cross. These likes are free. You, 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 you can call yourself walking up to her. Yeah, but you know, lady, you should not be being mean to your uh, 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 kids. Like that, but let me get your number anyway, cause you think that's what y'all gonna do. You see them girls on Facebook? What you do? Get on the instant, get in her and get in her inbox. Why you out here twerking like that, sister? Using your body like that. Shout out to my boy Pharaoh Edmondson, man. I gotta get my brother on the uh, uh, on the hangout tonight. See, now, I'm gonna tell you, niggas, you're gonna do all of this. Don't say nothing to them. Just look at them. I got Doc. I'm about to get him back to study. Don't worry about nothing. Don't say nothing. Just look at them. Don't send nothing to him. What you supposed to do when you see him? Shout out to Deputy McAllister. What are you supposed to do when you see him? When you see him, hum, pass me not. Just all you just do, keep it. My, my, my granddad said, always keep a him on my heart. <laughs> He's always keep. I said, why? He said, because sometimes the days get tough. I keep a him to keep me going. So when you see that, if you're a Christian, you know, hum it. <laughs> Let Jesus handle it. For those of you believe in it. Don't say nothing. Because they're not going to make it. Ain't going to make it. Ain't nothing that you can do to help her. If you can waste your time counseling her, she's not going to change. You could call the police. Hum to hum. You see little Pookie and Ray Ray and little, little bad kids out there destroying property? You're going to tell the kids what they need to do. 
let me let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you something. This is 2018. You cannot correct. See, <laughs> can I help you, brothers in Black America? Let me tell you, because people are crazy about their kids. You cannot help these badass kids in Black America. Now, it's debatable if the kids are good or not. I'm not here to tell you which one is there. I don't know. But a lot of the kids that I see are fucked up. Because their parents are fucked up. I hate to say that about my own people. But it got, somebody got to say it. You see these kids running through black America? Y'all see these kids doing whatever they want to do. You can't tell these kids nothing. You can't tell these teenagers nothing. You know, at least in, in my day, so uh, an adult could at least you, threaten you with, I'm going to call your mama. Because that's all you had to do to get me to start crying. Tell me, I'm going to call your daddy. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, don't call, don't call my daddy. Hold, stop the show. This dumbass nigga asked me what time it is. Time your ass out. Don't you ever come in here asking me what time it is when, uh, uh, unless that was, nigga, don't ask him stupid ass shit. All they had to do was tell me, I'm going to call you daddy. And y'all, y'all niggas know my daddy was on crack, but he would get sober to whoop my ass. This is what he did. The only thing that he liked better than smoking crack was fucking me up if I fucked up. For that little hour, it was like you damn near almost wanted to get in trouble to see your daddy sober. When it came to whooping my ass, huh, nigga. Let me add KJ on this channel, the moderator. When he whooped my ass, he got sober real quick. Shout out to Wayman Brown and Anthony Brown. Oh, you brothers getting paid on Friday. Well, I got these Friday shit more streams more often. But you can't tell them that now. Tell your kids, if you keep messing up, I'm going to call your mama. So, I'll call her right now. Because see, now these kids got iPhones. <laughs> look, 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 look. Y'all y'all know if you're from the 90s. Y'all know we didn't have no cell phones in high school. You was lucky to have a phone in your room. Now you got kids coming out the coochie being born two weeks old in the baby photo with an iPhone 10. Little kids six months old with an iPad. I'll call her right now and FaceTime her on the phone with you. Here you go. You can talk to her right now. Talk to her. Right, you messing with my son? No, your son is over here doing this. I don't get, don't you talk to my son like that. Then the parents going to show up and want to fuck you up. They're going to want to fight you for correcting their kids. This is what happens in black America. I'm trying to tell y'all, you cannot help these people. You think you're giving somebody a lecture. Man, these, kids, these parents will shoot you in black America talking to their kids. This is truth. So if you see these kids messing up, what do you do? Don't say nothing. Just look at them. Do what? Third step. Three steps. Don't say nothing. Two. Just look at him. Hum to him. Because you know they're not going to make it. When you hear that hum, that him pass me out as you walking by, that's you know they ain't going to make it. They're not going to make it. If y'all want to help them, listen, be my guest. Go out there in black America, save all of them. I'm not going to do it. I ain't got time to do it. And I, I'm going to tell you like this. Y'all need to let people fail. If they don't make it, they don't make it. You can't waste your time trying to stress yourself out, trying to do for a community that don't want to do for itself. And what we have 
really is a community that don't want to do for itself. So how can you help them people? You can't. And those who are not going to make it, they just going to fall by the wayside. And just accept it. Why do black people have a hard time accepting it? Hmm? I don't have a hard time, Brother Pharaoh. Brother Young Jay. I don't, look, 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 look. <laughs> when I went home the last time, the whole time I was ever saying, oh, there, 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 oh, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to make it. That's all I kept saying to myself. Yep, you ain't going to make it. I talked to some of my friends, some of your friends and family. This is the hard part. <laughs> when you talk to your friends and family, <laughs> And you know that when you talk to them, I made a video called Putting the Hood on Pause. I don't know if you saw that one before, but I'm going to put it back up. This particular video, if you've ever been from a place and you've left that place and come back and you see the same niggas you left doing the same shit. What is that symptoms of? That's the nigga you ain't gonna make it syndrome. <laughs> and the syndrome is a, is a lot of symptoms. And it got a lot of struggles in there. Lay, it, 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 symptoms are a laziness, don't want to do shit, unmotivated, can't tell them nothing. That's the nigga you ain't gonna make it syndrome. That's what that is. Diagnose it real quick now. When you start seeing people never progress in life, and you might be suffering from that same shit. Check yourself now. I'm going to let you know. Oh, shit. Stop the show. Brandon Nichols. Thank you so much. I'm going to read your super chat. Thank you. I just appreciate you. Thank you for so much for $4.99. Boy, God is being good in here. Where am I good doctor at? Doctors, I'm here. I got to get up off here in a minute and study. But the nigga, you ain't going to make it syndrome. I'm going to do a video on that. Shout out to the classic on that, y'all. <laughs> I feel good. I might have to do a classic on this. And Brendan, I really appreciate you for the. I'm a nigga. You ain't gonna make it syndrome. And there's a lot of symptoms in that. And you need to be able to diagnose it when these niggas come around you. Ain't that right now? You digging that XP? <laughs> that super chat made him jump. It should. Sure, it did. Yeah, nigga. Why don't you give me something, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> drop drop a chicken wing in there. Oh, Shay, that's a syndrome you need to help me with. Nigga, look, I'll help you. Listen, I, I tell you like this. Look, you ain't got to give me a dollar to help you with that. Because a nigga, you ain't going to make it syndrome. It's a laziness. Can't tell them nothing. I'm motivated. Ain't going to be shit. All of those things are a nigga, you ain't going to make it syndrome. We need a biomarker. Yeah, let's go ahead and give you a, 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 a MRI. Can you look at an MRI or an X-ray or lumbar puncture? JJ, can we check the CSF in this motherfucker? Or is there any uh, proteins? Okay, is there any, uh, <laughs> you know, let me, let, me, let me look at the CSF. Let's see if I see any uh, 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 abnormal protein levels, if I see any cloudy uh, appearances in this. I, you can't do, see, but the thing about it is, you can't diagnose it, because you can't, if you have a motherfucker with a nigga, you ain't gonna make it syndrome. You can't take him to the GP. Because, hmm? you, know, <laughs> you know, usually, <laughs> when you get a nigga who ain't gonna make it, you can't take him over to the oncologist. Because they're gonna do all these tests and shit, and they're gonna, he gonna come out fine. Ain't that right, Brother Clutch? He going the doctor's ain't nothing wrong with him. He ain't got diabetes. Heart rate good. No neurological functions. But a lot of y'all are suffering from that. And you know that because they be stuck in the same place. For many years, I'm gonna make that video today. Hotel. I gotta do two things. I gotta do a video for uh, 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 Wake the Hell Up, and I'm gonna do it this one. I'm gonna drop it later on tonight. If they have been doing the same shit for five, 10 years, stuck in the same place, 
that's a good sign, a good indication of, nigga, you ain't going to make it. And then also, ask them. This is what I want you to do. Become a doctor for a minute. Because you know I want to be a GP. Take your paper out and take a history. Is that what they tell you, J.J. Ray, when you have a patient? Take a history. Hmm? And what they, they teach you that in these clinical classes. Take a history. And the first question that I want you to ask a nigga, when you take his or her history, ask him, why do you think that you have these symptoms? I'm motivated. Ain't shit. Breath probably stinking because you don't want to breath too lazy. Um, can't get no money. Can't grow. Can't develop. The, the, what he's going to do is he's going to answer back. He's going to start, number one, blaming everybody else but him. This, this, and like I said, when you're taking the history, sit there and just don't say nothing. Just let him talk. He'll blame the white man. He'll, he'll say, uh, other people been hating on me all my life. Now, this is the good one right here. Let me deal with this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a good sign the nigga ain't gonna make it. Everybody been hating on me. Let me let me deal with that one real quick. People always been jealous of me. <laughs> this is I, I gotta I gotta really deal with this one. <laughs> can I deal with this one, y'all? Can I really? I, I know y'all miss my uh, single videos, brother, but let me. <laughs> can I deal with this one? This is a good one. Everybody's hating on me. Look what the nigga gonna tell you. He'll say people been jealous of me for a long time. Now here is something this nigga has never had shit. Never ever in his life. He never won no awards. Or she. Never won no awards. No accomplishments. But he'll say, everybody hating on me. Or she will say, everybody's hating on me. And then the, the, the thing that you're going to ask them as a secondary question, Brother Freelance, ask them this. Somebody asked me, what are you, what should I ask him? Somebody put that in the chat. What should I ask him? Somebody please help me out. I, I want to help you. Help me help you. Ask me, what should you ask a nigga? Hmm? Can you tell me? What should I ask this Negro patient over at St. Negro Hospital? Because you know I work over there. I'm a GP. Been working there for many years. Trying to help you niggas out. Ask this nigga, what do you have for people to be hating on you? Now, don't ask them, do they believe in Jesus? That's the women. What do you have for which people would be hating on you? Let me ask you that. And ask them that. Once you ask him this, he will come out or she will come out with certain stupid reasons. Uh, they will say, I'm talented. I got game or I, I'm beautiful. I know I look good. This is, this is what these niggas will say, women say. And they will, they will mention all of these things that if you, if, if for a person who is talented, look good and smart, because they're always going to say I'm smart. That's the number one thing they're going to say. I'm smart. People hate on me because I'm smart. But if you're smart, why are you not smart enough to take advantage of your intelligence to make a way for your motherfucking self? I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. I mean, this is a preview, a preview of things to come, a preview of things to come. I can't give it all to you, but I'm going to do it tonight. The Negro, you ain't going to make it syndrome. This is going to be a classic. This is a classic before I even start. When you ask the Negro, why hasn't you taken advantage of your so-called intelligence or the Negro at, he is going to buck up on you, wanting to fight. Oh, nigga, what you talking about? He's going to get real stupid on you. <laughs> then you got to hit him with Anthony Bryan Logan, sir, sir, <laughs> sir. Is it anywhere Anthony Bryan Logan at? He here. <laughs> ABL, man, come over here, ABL. Come on, come on in the room, man. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? He, sir, sir, you got to calm motherfucker down. And if you and if you're not careful, they might try to get physical. So you might have to knock their motherfucking ass out. Because you know, over here at right, Anthony Brown Logan, you got to hit him with the sir, 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 sir. Kind of calm down. Kind of calm down because ain't gonna be too many much more of the motherfucking serves. Because you might have to come get freelance in, in the security. And Dr. Dick and Eric P. Because freelance and all that karate and jujitsu and all that martial arts shit. So I might have to page freelance on your ass. I might have to get Dr. Dick and Eric P. to bring that thing. But he in the back still in the jerry curl juice. But I might have to hit you with this good overhand right. If you keep getting too loud. Now, I already then told you, nigga, that you suffer from a syndrome. I just asked you a question. But if you keep getting, you're going to be in the ER. I'm going to have to hit you with this right, nigga. I'm trying to tell you that it's powerful, too. Don't, don't play don't play the role. It's quick, too. Boom. <laughs> Make your head swim. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to let you know. Like my granddad used to say, it's going to be two hits. I'm going to hit you, <laughs> and you're going to hit that motherfucking flow. So you're already sick now. I don't want to hit no sick motherfuckers. But if you keep pushing me, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wake your game up, nigga. I'm gonna need you to get them, <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Anthony Brian Logan, sir, sir, get up off me. But see, that's how you know the niggas are suffering from this. And the reason why everything is everybody else's fault but theirs. Didn't and let me bring it back to the whole main topic. A lot of these niggas who ain't gonna make it already feel that they have made it and have made shit. That's another one. False achievement. Enumerate. You know, for somebody to make it in life, it's numbers to judge that. I, I'm just, it's ABL back in here still. Let me use them for an example. ABL likes statistics. Hmm? When Brother Freelance Ronan is not kicking ass or kicking down buildings and shit, he likes statistics. <laughs> I can't tell you how I know this, but I am pretty smart. See, when you have achieved something in life, they rank you against. This is what happens in the country now. If you have really made it, you somebody, then we put you in categories with motherfuckers who are successful. We can measure that by tax bracket. We can measure that by certain things. See, there's certain things and certain attributes you got to have to be in a certain type of motherfuckers. But the people who act like that they've already made it, they're nowhere near. <laughs> I know this is too much. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm doing too much. I'm really doing too much. I'm trying to help you niggas. But I can't go in. I can't. I'm just telling the truth. See, and a lot of people in black America suffer from this shit. But I ain't got time. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> All right, now, y'all, y'all do me a favor, man. Listen, I need y'all to get me and get the likes up real quick. I've been trying to get my thing on real quick. I haven't been doing as many shows, as you know. I've been busy trying to get my life together. All right, now, y'all get the likes up for me. OK, let me know that you appreciate what we're doing over here. I appreciate you, brothers. And thank you for those who are super chat. Now, if you want to support me, you can also super chat. Also, I know some of y'all niggas got paid. Uh, put uh, if you can't super chat, put a empty condom wrapper uh, in the offering plate. Uh, but but please. Um, no, don't, don't don't do that. Put uh, put a Popeye's biscuit in there. Don't. In fact, don't do that. Um, now, I'm just I'm going to put that video out tonight. Because I got to do it. You brothers out there who are trying to be upwardly mobile. Boy, let me, let me tell you something. This is a hard road. Mm. I'll tell you that as an uh, as a IMG student in my field. I probably took the toughest road that you can take to be upwardly mobile which is professional school. I would never do this shit if they said, listen, how about you start over and do it again? How about fuck you? Left it up tell Because I'm not doing this shit over again. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much work and time and effort that it takes. When you look back at it, you'd be like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Yes, it, yes, it was. 
It, it is bad. When you look back at it, when you're going through it, it's bad. It's tough. But you got to do that to get there. Once you get to where you're trying to go, your friends got to change, nigga. I, I, nobody going to tell you this like I'm going to tell it to you. There are some people who have similar messages, like research. <laughs> What's up, Howard Thunder, man? Boy, that, thank you for so much for donation. But that brother, brother right there got some money, man. I don't know what he's doing, but on the side, I think that nigga's... <laughs> I think that brother is smuggling chicken wings from state to state. You know, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> but nigga, as you get money, your friends change, brother. At the Dr. Dick and Eric P, help him out. JJ, help him out. The things you used to do, Negro, you can't do that no more. That's the song they sing at church. Things I used to do, I don't do no more since I found the Lord. Nigga, the same thing with your ass. You get your life together. You don't go fucking around with them same niggas that ain't doing a goddamn thing. It's a high and by shit. They gonna be saying, oh, you didn't change. You didn't, you, <laughs> you ain't the same no more. You goddamn right. It, it, I'm, 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 I'm keeping it real. Who got time for all that goddamn foolishness to be dealing with these niggas? I know I don't. I'm just telling the truth. It, three lines in my wife. I'm, I'm nigga. I'm, shit. I don't got time to be dealing with no foolishness. Goddamn it. I, I'm not going to be there. Don't fucking ask me. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Pritchard. I'm, nigga, listen, you brothers got to stop. You know why? A lot of us end up working as black men. We always, I know I was talking about this. We always go back. Helping mama. <laughs> helping little everybody. And the money we give, that money, they don't ever do nothing with it, but fuck it up. All they do is fuck the money up anyway. You send them the money. They don't pay no bills. They just ask them for money, ask for money, ask for money. And that's all they do. With you as a black man, because your life don't matter. Don't matter what you're doing. Nigga, this is what happens with us. So you gotta let them know that this nigga ain't everybody ain't gonna make it. And that's fine with me. I don't give a damn about your ass. Shit, I, I, I could care less. Hello. Up in his thing. You brothers, man, I'm telling you right now. Once you once you start moving up, your friends better move up too. If your friends don't move up, you can't move up. Your friends, because it's only gonna be two things that's gonna happen to you, nigga. Either you're gonna bring them up or they're gonna bring you down. And if you're doing some great shit in your life, you're not going to bring them up. See, that, that, that's, that's, that's that <laughs> nigga you ain't going to make it syndrome. So you need to be able to diagnose how many motherfuckers ain't going to make it. And stop trying to invest in people's potential. Oh, they got the potential to do something. See, ask, let me talk about that real quick. Let me, let me brother, brother Merchant, brother Dr. Deacon Merchant, let me tell you niggas something. We always like to deal with potential. Is that right? Let me, let me give you an example I'm talking about. I ain't going to be too long. In dealing with a woman, a lot of you know, times the girls would be like, what you dealing with him for? He got potential. This is what women think. He got potential. <clears throat> Usually that's the potential to do shit. The, the real thing is everybody got potential. See, there's a story about Moses in the burning bush. Moses walking somewhere. He's walking. Y'all heard this story. I'm not going to preach, but I'm just gonna, this is important, though. Moses walking somewhere in the desert. Y'all heard the story. Y'all been to church. Y'all heard the story. I use a lot of church shit because, you know, I, I, I was in there for so many years. Moses walking somewhere. All of a sudden, there's a bush. 
No, not, that's nothing major because, again, it's a bush. Nobody, nobody worry about a bush. But there's this bush that's been like on fire, but the bush is not being consumed. So think about that. You walk in some place and you would see like a house on fire, but the house is not burned. It's not. It's still like a house is just on fire. You would you would you would stop and like, what the fuck is going on? Like it's on fire, but it ain't burning down. Then that bush started talking. This bush was like God or something. Take your shoes off. This, you know, the bush had a message. The whole moral of that was that this bush had this potential to do great things. Because this was so ordinary. This bush is ordinary. But this bush had the potential to be used. Yet everybody got fucking potential. People with no arms and legs got potential. There's nobody walking around on earth breathing right now ain't got the potential to do something. Everybody got potential. But when we want to start dealing with people, we say, oh, he got potential. Bro, he got a good but-. but see, you want it better for the motherfuckers than they do. You cannot want it for him. He cannot want it for you. They got to want it for their motherfucking self. And if they don't, I don't care about the potential. It's a lot of folks on the, in the graveyard right now die with a lot of fucking potential. I just found out uh, today that a girl I dated in high school, dead. Mama, mama died. She died in the same month, same year. So you can't go off of that. You got to go with who's making it, nigga. And if you ain't making it, <laughs> you need to start trying to make it. Hello. I'm, pre- I'm preaching to myself. I don't know what I'm talking about. Re-upload this to the main channel. <laughs> Brother Clickbait. <laughs> you remind me of the nigga that walked up to the police office and asked, what's the number of 911? <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> come brother, I'm going to deal with you real quick. Brother Clickbait, everybody just don't say nothing, just look at him. Just look at him, don't say nothing, just look at him. He's one of the brothers I'm talking about. God bless his heart. Brother, you know what? Clickbait, I'm not going to send it to you, but I'm going to sing this hymn to you. <laughs> oh, Jason Uncongo and my band. <laughs> You see, here lies two examples of what we're talking about. See how God worked right here on the live stream. Just, just don't send it to the, look, look at these niggas. The nigga asked, was joking. No, 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 nigga, you wasn't joking. That's another thing these niggas say. I was just playing. Let me put that on my video. Just joking. No, nigga, you slow. Ain't nothing joking with you, motherfucker. Comes into the comes into the comment section. The nigga asks, upload this to the main channel. This is what I'm talking about. Thank you, brother Hendrix. Nigga, I, I just I just really want to know where is the neurons firing in your mind, brother? Is are they slow? Nigga? Have you been on MPTP? What have you been using in, in your life? Because nigga, something is wrong with you. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Don't y'all be hanging around him. Don't you accept his friend request on Facebook. If you see him, don't take it. Don't do it. No. You're going to lose. <laughs> well, you're going to lose neurons. What up, Marcus? Dealing with these niggas. Now, look, brothers, I just want to say, everybody get the likes up real quick. 266 people, only 190. I need about 60 or 74 people. Go ahead and hit that like button for me real quick because I, I know you I know you got it. Go ahead and hit it. I'm, I'm 191. Hold on one second. I got to get him up. I'm trying to get more back on my live stream as I have times. What would you define as making it? Because I feel that you are leading a happy life and earning good money than you are making it. That That is probably what it is, is making it. I mean, also, you know, making it for yourself, but, you know, I, I, it's not always about money. 
You know, it's always about, but you know, you're doing something to make you happy. But I mean, I tell you what, it is making it uh, move away from these niggas. That's that's number one for first and foremost. Uh, y'all gonna say I'm cooning? Get away from the, these lower class Negroes. That's making it. I don't care where you live. You cannot have no money if you living away from them. I don't care if you live in a shoebox in Iceland. You made it. Getting away from that fuckery. When you ain't got to go down the street and it's two niggas in front of you blocking in the middle of the street, you know, you come in, you turn on the street corner. You have one nigga in front of you, one nigga, and, and uh, uh, they sit in the middle of the street having a conversation, blocking the road. So you sitting there waiting while they sit there talking. And don't honk the horn because they don't have attitude. Don't be rushing me. Nigga, you blocking, you blocking the road, bro. Can you pull over? Nigga, fuck that. This is what I'm talking about. Ain't going to make it. Just. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. Not going to make it. And, and, and listen. Brother, y'all cut some of your family off, too. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear that. But you're going to have to do that. <laughs> I'm letting you know. Man. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you. Let me do this real quick, man. I have so many brothers, man, that supported today. I want to uh, get the get the likes coming up. Keep. I, I, I don't know. I, I might do a little bit more for this thing, player. <sighs> Let me uh, shout uh, you out. Okay, let me shout y'all out real quick. So many people here. Shout out to my boy. He just uploaded the video. I think it was Alpha Male Strategies. 274. Yeah, I gotta get this. I gotta get this one back uh popping on this page. That player. J Day, thanks for all the information, brother. Lamar C, thank you. Ron Hendricks. What up, man? That's Jimmy Hendricks play cousin. I uh, appreciate you, brother. Good content. Freelance run. I know dudes that have been on the same corner for the last 30 years doing the same shit, all hanging over there off of Martin Luther King. You know they are Martin Luther King. If you see them on Martin Luther King off of Broadway somewhere, they ain't going to make it. Or in front of a Popeye's chicken, they ain't going to make it, dog. Don't even. Mm -mm. O'Shea, put up the How to Brace Your Ugliness video. Funniest ever. I'm going to put it up, player, just for you, because you know, ugly dude, guys, stick together. And I know you want to watch that because you're ugly than a motherfucker. I know that for a fact. Brandon Nick Nichols. And y'all be really killing my generation on here. We not that bad. Let us be great. Oh, but you're a young brother. Okay. Our sister. That's a boy. I don't know how. Okay. Uh, JJ Redwood, Dr. Dr. Deacon Redwood, assistant baptism cleaner over at St. Slapper Bitch. Uh, kind of new to black YouTube. I'm out of a new work. Uh, 25 Navy vet start my entertainment and podcast. Love your content. Just trying to make these lessons apply. I'm dead. brother. Go ahead and email me, man. I like to see new brothers, man, trying to come out and do some things, man. Anthony Brown, thank you, Wayman. Deep in thought. And those who don't make, gonna try to blame brothers. Deep in, man. You know, we got to holler, man. Deep in, me and him did a show. Okay. I, you know what I'm saying? He didn't even ask me. I, I asked him, man. Come on, do a show, man. That's my brother. I'm trying to get back with him. So, man, make sure you email me, brother. You're speaking the unfortunate but honest truth. Damien Harry, Blunt, and Trump Love. Built car magazine, model car magazine, Rose Oats are the only thing that counts in the day. Nobody accepts his interest in failure success. Dr. Moore, here a tip, preach. Wake the hell up. My brother, Pharaoh Edmondson, you're speaking the truth, uh, O'Shea. 75% of black America is not going to make it, especially as automation is taking people to jobs. It is what it is. Bro, you ain't lying. That automation is something else. You know, I'm going to start stripping for fat girls, man, if, uh, you know, this thing. I mean, not, you know. Midgets, midgets. You know, big women, they love me, boy, because, <laughs> you know, I know I got that game for them. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, what up, Pastor O'Shea? It's payday. Had to jump off my ticket payment for some stripper midgets. And, man, Eric P. is so good to be, man. Midgets sincere. Thank you. Dan, the mentor. Turf Orchestra. Blessings to all. Okay. Eastwood and Apollo. Man, I appreciate you, brothers, man. So, I just had to drop something, man, that was of some value today. You know, I don't I do not do the, 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 the uh, so, hold on. Some more money came in this thing. <laughs> oh, that's that's doc right there. Hold on a second. Oh shit, some more money came in here. I didn't even see. I was reading it, brother Brian. Man, what up, brother Brian? We ball five dollars, brother Brian. Man, stay away from where they met it tomorrow. Doc, hold on, man. Is that Carlos? 
Man, Carlos, man, how you get your how you get your how you get your S curl like that, man? I'm trying to find out. Okay, because nigga, I need to get mine. Um <laughs> Carlos, man, look, I seen your picture on Facebook, man. What you what what, what are you using, man? Uh that in, the, in that S curl uh kit. Cause that, that's a nice kit, man. I just really want to know what you do to get because you got Indian in your family, dog. Cause I'm trying I'm struggling with my uh, trying to get my curl like that. Okay, you you know, don't be trying to, you know, keep secrets with your S curl and everything. Cause uh I need to know, nigga. Is that right? Okay. Thanks, thanks, Doc, for the, the donate. Brother, I look, I gotta get up out of here. Cause I can't be on here doing no uh he said eco style olive oil. You a damn lie. I, I know you because uh, you ain't I know you ain't using no Murray's. Cause Murray's don't make your hair look like that. You know, Mary's Murray's make your hair look like a brick. You get when you get through with that Murray's boy, woo, that Murray's. It'll take you about 30 years to get that Murray out your head. I still got Murray's in my head from 88. Mr. Grandeur. What's up, man? I still, man, look, that Murray's boy. Terry, you know what I'm talking about? Boy, you get that Murray's in your head. <laughs> boy, you be walking around looking like a box with Vaseline on your face. <laughs> but that Murray's boy, that, that Murray's is like, is like super glue, nigga. You, you can't get your wave cap off. Uh, brother, can you please help me get this wave cap off, brother? Um, This Murray's has stuck to my skull, brother. Uh, he said, Tussie, oh, that's that old school Alabama shit. They had Tussie back in slavery. Uh, look, I got to get up out of here, okay? Because I can't be up in here all day with y'all, but I just wanted to just, you know, go live and shit. I will drop that classic tonight. All right, it's good to see you niggas again. I love y'all. I really do. I really do love y'all. I just, I can't stand you, but I love you, okay? So, but, uh, it, it, you know, but don't, uh, don't be calling me now. I'm going to tell y'all some of this. This is what I'm going to tell you now. I look, God bless all of you, but I'm going to tell you something. If I add you on Facebook, look before you like, number one, don't ever hit the call button. Don't do that. Unless I, I really know you, don't do it. Always know that I keep my Facebook on at night. So if you send me a message and it's like seven in the, seven in the afternoon and you see that I'm online, but see, I took the online shit off. So now you niggas can't if I'm online or not. You can't know. It's a four in the morning and you call and you wake me up. I'm going to block you. I'm going to say it again. If you call me under any circumstances and it's four o'clock in the morning and I have to wake up, I'm going to block you so you never call me again. Okay? Always look at the time in Poland. <laughs> okay? All right now, so I'm just letting you know I blocked about four to five niggas this week. Okay, uh, and I and, and I will have to do this. Uh, so look, look, look. Let me know, player. All right, so Hotep. Okay, so you know I appreciate y'all. All right, I will see y'all brothers uh, at a at a later uh, tonight. Okay, and I'll you know bless you. Okay, and everything like that. I really appreciate y'all. For what y'all is doing, okay. Thank you for all the brothers that 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 that, that, that came in here and tricked off in the chat player. I'm gonna take all your money and go to the strippers, okay. All right, guys. I'll see you later on tonight and, and leave these niggas alone. Peace.